atoms, molecules, and lattices. The atoms in chemical elements can be arranged in three different ways. A few elements are made up of single atoms. In helium, for example, the atoms are happy to bounce around on their own. Elements like this are known as noble gases. Another example is neon, a gaseous element used in neon signs. We can see the second way of arranging atoms if we take a closer look at the element oxygen. Oxygen atoms join together in pairs. Each pair is held together by a chemical bond, an attractive force that binds the atoms together. Small groups of atoms bonded together are called molecules. The element bromine is a red oily liquid that's also made up of molecules with two atoms. Phosphorus is a white solid made up of bigger molecules with four atoms each. But most elements don't exist as single atoms or molecules. Instead, their atoms bond together in continuous frameworks called lattices. Copper and other metals form lattices. So does carbon, the element that makes up diamonds. Because each atom is chemically bonded with its neighbours, the atoms in a lattice can't move around very much. This means they tend to form solids. Elements that exist as single atoms are all gases. Elements made up of molecules can be solid, liquid or gas at room temperature. So understanding the three ways that atoms can be arranged is a first step in explaining the vast differences between the elements.